Good morning. It is Monday. And I'm in the salon. There we go. Still an amateur. Um, yeah, so it's Monday, new week, fresh vlog. I'm in the salon and I'm gonna be prepping for my lives um, coming up, my live education stuff, but also my live tomorrow for Joico America. I've already done one mannequin, I'm gonna do another one today, uh, and then I'll come in tomorrow and I will um, get it all get it all prepped and styled. So we're gonna head down to the studio now. Um, it's a cold one, it is a cold one today. It looks lovely out there, but it's freezing. So I am just going to, yeah, take you through my week again. So today I'll be prepping, tomorrow I'll be prepping, plus a live, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday in the salon. Sunday, again, I'm flying off to the Netherlands to see my Joico team. Uh, and we're gonna be doing the Masterpiece Collection. Me and Jill are gonna be working with Robbie and Sophie. They're gonna be showing us their Masterpiece Collection. Oh yeah, while well, we're talking about Masterpiece Collection, there's the first ever Masterpiece Collection. I was very lucky to be able to do the Masterpiece Collection when it first came out, and it was my first big thing, big gig for, for Joyco. And it was like the first, I, I, I weren't even there that long, and they said, oh, you're gonna be in the Masterpiece Collection. It was me, Sevda, Larissa doing the colors, and then Ryan was doing the haircuts. Um, and my balloons, my balloons are slowly dying. Oh, that sun is terrible. Still the 100K balloons, but it's all mashed together. Um, yeah, still can't believe I, whoa, oh, that, that sun. I can't believe I hit 100K subscribers. Now on 103,500 and something. So yeah, we're quite dark. So let's head down to the studio and uh, we'll just crack on with the day. So I don't know if many of you know, obviously people who come to the salon will know, but I'm walking now into, I'll just turn the lights on so you can see it. This is Chop and Brew. Chop and Brew is a barber shop, coffee shop down below the salon. The salon is right above us. And it's a really cool space. Got some little side seating. Come on, I've got to move my arm in on. There, a little seating, got a hidden seating area. Got a little seating area here where you can chill and have a coffee. And then uh, this is Jason's area. So Jason, makes all the coffee here, unbelievable coffee that they do. They use 200 degrees coffee. And then we go into here, which is an old bank vault. And then this is his barber station. I just thought I'd show you this because it's a really cool space. And then his coffee is through their coffee shop. But yeah, let's get into the studio and you'll be able to hear my voice change dramatically, hopefully. I've um, put a lot of effort into, what do they call it? Sound, well, it's sound panels, basically, to make it sound really nice and crisp. But you should be able to hear it. I've got up here, sound panels. This whole wall now is sound panels. So I've, oh God, the name nearly came to me then. And then we close it and it is even more deadly silent. I love it down here. But so yeah, some of the stuff I've, I've got recently for the studio, I think I'm, I think I'm there. I was looking at another camera the other day um, just to get a full frame camera possibly. I don't really need one. I don't really need one. But it just becomes a, an obsession really. Uh, I bought a new light, which is here. I've got two of them now, uh, newer or newer. They sent me this. It is the Cob Light there, um, CB CB60. That's a really good light. So I bought another one. Got that one sent to me by Niwa or Nua. Thank you so much. But then I bought another one because I loved it so much. And we're talking about the masterpiece collection. There it is. I always have it pride in place. I was I was oh and there's another one, just there. I was really proud to be asked to, to do that collection, considering I was a newbie and they didn't know anything about me, really. Um, uh, and the inspiration that I took and everything was really cool. So, yeah, a really good model. She was pregnant as well. Pregnant. And she looked like that. She's stunning. And then also, there's a, a, a little YouTube plaque there that I bought myself. 50,000 subscribers. I hit that. Uh, Last February, I think, I hit that. So I've had another over 50,000 within less than a year. 
Uh, and my play button comes very, very soon, and it will be going pride of place there. So when we're doing talking head videos, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's gonna be there. Um, but today I'm gonna crack on. Oh yeah, and obviously my heads, I've changed it around, so we've, we've, there's all my sectioning and all that sort of thing that can, that can go on. But if we just pop this, no, yeah. So, uh, right, this is why I don't know what to do with cameras because I love this one for vlogging. It's so good for vlogging. And then I've got my GoPro, I've got a GoPro here above so you can see like on top. I've got that GoPro there, which is for shooting there. I have my main camera here, which is my Canon 90D. And then just here, is my EOS M camera and it is it's cracked so there was there's this company called Magic Lantern and they they offer like updates but cracks for the camera and it turns it into a, like a cinematic beast I've no idea I sound like I know what I'm talking about I don't because I'm still trying to get it to work I've had it about a year but I just want it I want that to be working so I've got four cameras on the go and I can bring you a really really good experience so yeah, I'm gonna get all the lights on, um, and we're gonna make make start on this week. So my live is is called it's like rose copper. It's a rose copper technique, and oh, I've got such an itchy head, mate. Do you like my new hat? I think I'm gonna go back to wearing hats. I look like um, what's his name off of Home Alone. Um, Marv, that's it, Marv. No, Harry, I look like Harry. Harry's the, the guy with the hat on, yeah, the one that burns gets it burnt. Yeah. Right, concentrate. So, I've got a rose copper to do technique. I've already done one, but I need to do another one because I want to do two looks. I've done one which is very sort of soft bob, um, using a lot of Joyco's color pal palette from the from the coppers and everything, so I wanted to do that. But I want to bring more of like a shag wolf cut sort of look um, with contrast color, rose gold. Let me get all this ready and set up, and then I'll come back to you once I've got it all set up with my mannequins here, ready to go. Here's my other camera, and I've got a 24 mil lens on it, um, and this is what I do a lot of my God. Some marks on it, but yeah, this is what camera will go here, and that is the main camera for what we're going to shoot with. And it's all running off. If anybody is geeky enough to want to know, it is all running off um, dummy batteries. There we go. So these are normal batteries, these, everything, with no wire attached. And then this is a dummy battery, you can see the hole, can you see the hole? Yeah, plugs in the bottom. So it goes into the camera, then the plug goes in, and then it powers everything. So, let's get that there. I haven't been in this bag since I got back. So I need to get out my laptop. So I'm just running. If, if anybody is interested, actually, I'm, while I'm going through this, I'm, I, I'm think there's my passport. I'm thinking of changing my vlog and set up <laughs> to an Osmo Pocket. I've got an Osmo, I've had one Osmo Pocket for so long and I haven't really used it to its full potential. Um, if you know what Osmo Pocket is, I'll probably show you in another, in an, another day this week. I don't wanna act all high and mighty, but tomorrow it may pour, what's it? Now I thank you for sunshine. Okay, let's go. Right, we're set up, ready to go. Am I missing anything? No. Nope. That is it, that's my setup ready to go. So I've got GoPro on, this one on, this one will be on, and that one there, I'm gonna try and get it working. 
So yeah, today is Monday, start of the week again. And like I said with the vlogs, the vlogs, views, they're going all right actually. But I was watching this girl on YouTube the other day and she was doing the same thing. She, I think she's got a lot more subscribers than me, but she was saying that she does like basically strategy uh, videos and they do very, really well. Like my hair cut videos do really well. Well, and um, she was she was saying, oh, the only reason she vlogs is because she enjoys it. And I quite enjoy it actually. I'm getting really comfortable with just talking to the camera uh, on a day-to-day -day sort of level. And um, she said the same thing. And she said the reason she does vlogs was to engage with the with the audience more. And that was my in, that was my original sort of thing. I was like, right, how could I really show you guys what I get up to day to day? I will be showing you more what goes on in the salon. I want to. I want to do, talk a bit more like business and that sort of thing for people who are hairdressers. Uh, if you want to see see and hear more about the business, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if not, you just want to see me get on with my day, then I'll get on with my day. But it was. It's basically just so you guys so. Because when I'm just standing here doing a haircut or colour, it's lovely and all, lovely and all, to do it and to bring you these sort of videos. But I just thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool if I could show you a little bit more of, of like what I do and what I get up to and that sort of thing. So that was it really. That's why I started vlogging. And I really enjoy it. And I've, oh no, I can't show you yet. Oh, I can't, can I? Maybe. I've got a, no I can't. I can't show you it. I've got a new product there that I can't show you. But I can show you very, very soon. So that's exciting. So yeah, I'm going to, I say so yeah so much, don't I? So yeah. It's just a way of, it's, it's, it's instead of going, um, so yeah. And when I was away in the last vlog, I put on the screen, I say, really, same, um, I know, actually, I say all them, so much. And it wasn't until, like, vlogging, I realised how much, this hat is so itchy, I probably won't wear this hat. Um, yeah. But I'm gonna get on with this because I need to. So today's video is gonna be, you're gonna see this on, on Sunday, but I'm gonna be live. Oh, I did say in the last vlog though that I'm gonna be live. So yeah, I'm, I'm live tomorrow for Joyco. And um, so you're gonna see everything I get up to behind the scenes of how I do it. But I'm gonna be doing the copper hair, copper color, rose gold copper color. And I'm gonna do a shag wolf cut. I've already done a bit of a bob. But I want the bob to be looking a little bit more sleek and a little bit more I don't know. I'll have a little play with them. But yeah, I'm gonna get everything set up, get my ma get my tripods, get my mannequins, and then uh, we'll make a start. I'll do this one from the front, I'll do the other side from the side, so you can you can see. There's some of the lighter pieces. And again, I'm drawing that copper color through to those ends, but just diluting it slightly with the NV. And then we have it, guys. That is the finished result. What do we think? So that's me just finished the live for Joyco, Global, Joyco America. Um, I just can't believe it, to be honest. I can't believe I get to, one, work with Joyco Europe on, on a European scale, and now Joyco America have, have given me the opportunity to, to do the same. It's just being able to see, like in the chat, everyone from all over the world um, coming in and tuning in and, and everything's crazy so yeah I did this look uh, um, the videos are going up uh, this week so you, you've probably already seen it um, the live went really well really well um, just waiting for my feedback now from the guys in America um, I've got three more dates to do so hopefully um, they'll go the same I'll put as much effort if not more into those as well but yeah this is a uh, um, this is what I do so I was watching a vlog of Daniel Simmons today and I mentioned him in, in another vlog that I did and basically I just got really inspired by his aesthetics of his of his vlogs so I'm hoping to progress into something similar to that um, but 
he he sort of put a video a video up today. Well, not today. I watched one of his old ones, and it was like it was saying that don't be fooled. This isn't like my life because he was he was having uh, breakfast with somebody. Then he had a meeting with brands. Then he was going off to try uh, stuff on at brand meet and all this sort of thing. And yeah, I mean, it life life is pretty crazy. I don't know where I was going with that. He was he like he was sort of saying his life isn't always like that. My life is 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 probably like that. To be honest, uh, these first four weeks of this month have been crazy. I've just had a course reschedule, uh, to reschedule, which is cool because it gives me a bit more time to prep for courses that I've got coming up. Um, but yeah, I mean every every day I'm in the salon Wednesday to Saturday and that's every day but I'm in here Monday Tuesday in here in the studio and then Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday upstairs and then most Sundays I'm in the salon as well if I'm not working away so yeah I'm just giving a, a bit of a rep representation true representation of what my life is like being a salon owner and educator artist hairdresser uh, doing social media and everything like that because it's full on absolutely full on and trying to get balance people like people say oh like you should really look at trying to get balance it's like at this moment in time i've got a ba i've got to put everything i can while i'm able to into it because who knows what's around the corner so when my back went the doctors were saying oh god we don't know if, we don't know if you're going to be able to do hair anymore and i was like what what am i going to do and i was doing youtube a little bit then um that was in lockdown, just started. So I was thinking, right, I need to really crack on with this. Um, although it was so difficult when I was in so much pain. But yeah, rest of this week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's only Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. It's been a crazy beginning of the week already. But back in the salon tomorrow. I'll try and bring you some stuff in the salon this week. Because I'm in the salon Wednesday to Saturday. And then I fly off to Holland again with uh, the Joico lot. Uh, it's me and Jill coming from the UK. We're working with Bob Head, who's Robbie and Sophie from Belgium. Um, we're working on their masterpiece collection to deliver in the UK. So I'm going to do a bit of promo for that for the UK audience. So I'll be bringing you a load of that because I really want to be able to teach it in the UK if Robbie and Sophie don't want to teach in the UK. Um, what else is there? The following week I would have been in Manchester, but now I'm not on the Sunday, Monday. So now I've, I've got like Sunday, Monday that I can really put into making some more education videos, which is what I really want to do also. So I've done that cut and color. Um, and then I'm away. That will be like two videos this week. Then I'm away. My vlog will go up on Sunday. And then what can I do? I'll have to try and get another video up in the week or something. Um, and then I'll be that weekend. I'll be free. So I'll be able to bring you videos. Of, of like how to's but yeah thank you so much joico america thank you joico europe thank you joico as a company for giving me this opportunity to 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 spread the joico love to be honest it's amazing so yeah i'm going to finish up in here get her rinsed and then go home and get some dinner one of stacy's clients long-term clients has moved away and just left some donuts and i'm literally walking out the salon it's like man i'm so hungry size so my head this donut's amazing. Mmm. So good. Right. Let's get home. I'm gonna have some dinner. Don't know what I want after this, but yeah. So good. I mean, cool. I mean, I mean, this area was coming really from trying to start with. Thank you in advance for your just continuous support and generosity. Is that all the lights? Testing. So, oh yeah, this is my hotel room for the next two days. Look at the bath and the shower. That is mad. What a nice room. Thank you, Joyco, again. Hey, Joyco bag. Just here. Tele, it is. It's it's like silent. The sa the sound deadening in here is ridiculous. Is there an iron? Lean, lean. 
Let's hope there's an iron. Toilet. You're joking. There's no iron. It's one of my uh, one of my things. This is an iron. There's no iron. And there's no one on the desk. So tomorrow, unfortunately, I'm gonna have crease clothes. So yeah, what a room. It's got my new suitcase. And the view is this. But yeah, we're just gonna go out for a drink, maybe a little, fancy some chips, some Belgian chips. Um, and then come back and then just get settled really. Um, get, I suppose I've got to get my hair dryer and my clothes to get them ironed. Unless there's an iron. But yeah, I think we're going to head out now. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Is that water or is that... Nah, I'm, no way I'd walk on that. Is it? Oh, no way. Doesn't look like it. That all lights up and that'll be a fountain, won't it? Oh, right. That's why it's wet. Yeah. This concrete looks like bamboo -y leaves. Well, I know. It's mad to get to do this for a job. So we're in Antwerp. This is the centre of Antwerp, apparently. I think. Um, here's our hotel just behind me. You can see up here. I feel really tired, actually. Jill's just, just gone into the hotel room. The hotel is closed, but you can get in with your card and that. Um, really cool hotel. You should see my room. Well, I'll show you. It's got a bathtub, like a swimming pool. But... Yeah, this is the hotel here. And then we're going to be heading to, I think, Neil, I think it's called. But this is the end of end of the... I need to get this vlog up. I don't know how I'm going to get this vlog up. Probably in the week. But yeah, this vlog is me beginning of the week working for Joico America. And then I'm in Belgium taking uh, the Masterpiece course for Joico Europe with Jill Berry. So Jill will be out in a minute. She's just, yeah, nipped into the hotel. Come on. Um, so, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the vlogs. And if you are, please let me know by hitting the like button. Because uh, they're getting the views. I, did, I really didn't think that the vlogs would get the views. But they're getting views, which is great. Uh, and then I'm still releasing all the, the education videos. So, yeah, there's going to be loads happening. And next week and the week after, my jobs have been rescheduled. So I'm going to have loads of time to be doing loads of how-to videos. So they're all coming very, very soon. But I'm also vlogging on an Osmo Pocket. And I don't know how good it looks. But <laughs> straight opposite me is a massive building, which I'll show you as well, because I've filmed a load of stuff while I've been here. And we're just going to go in for a drink. So yeah, this is the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll be live in Neil, Belgium tomorrow for the Masterpiece Collection. And I'm going to do a video all about the whole course because me and Jill are taking it for Salon Concepts in Western Supermare in June. Uh, so we're going to put a big promo video together so then we can deliver it to more in the UK. So yeah, check out next week's vlog.